touch one part. The guy they touch one part. You will you will hear a whistle and dance. Don't hesitate. The stepper. That's the Lord touching it. That's the Lord saying, "I keep it." And the dimension of God's touch. It's a dimension of your revelation about scripture. It's a different dimension. What you are saying is scripture. The Lord bless this man. Okay. I'm going to start analyzing scriptures. Don't expect me to touch you at the end of it. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Don't expect me to touch you at the end of it. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit begin to do His work. Let the Holy Spirit Eh ben, Jésus, n'est pas tu veux. Fit in on that same day. Comment il a fait pour ça, pour bien le mettre ce même jour? Because when we are writing them with select special days. La même chose que vous dites, c'est une chanson des jours spéciaux. And then we focus on those days on special days. Mais nous avons marqué la page. This is God, but the Lord say you pas venu là and you do that. Je n'ai même pas commencé, mais c'est Dieu qui vous avez fait toujours faire une année. Alors, nous pouvons partir de là. Carry his chair. No, no, go to my office. Bring the chair and let him come and sit over. Can you put our hands together for a successful graduation in do yesterday? Amen. Amen. Can you clap your hands for yourself? Amen. Ça s'est produit parce que vous êtes là. If you were not there, si vous n'étiez pas là, it could have been very, very challenging. Ça serait très, ça aurait pu être tellement difficile. We talk on a very, very important topic. Nous allons parler sur un thème très important. I will encourage you that whatever you know, je vais vous encourager, peu importe ce que vous savez, about anointing. Qu'est-ce que vous devez savoir de l'onction? That's our topic of today. Ça c'est notre thème d'aujourd'hui. What do you need to know? Qu'est-ce que vous deviez savoir? About anointing. À propos de l'onction. I will give the opportunity to Pastor Bente to read us three scriptures. Je vous donne le projet au Pastor Bente de nous de nous lire trois écritures. And we will begin to analyze it. We're not going to be going to so much details, but we're going to analyze it. On va l'analyser. And let's begin with Acts one eight. Yes. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit. Has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Next one, Isaiah 61 verse one. Isaiah 61 verse one. Isaiah 61 verse one says, "The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me." Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to opening of the prison to those who are bound. Luke four eighteen. Luke fourteen. Luke fourteen verse fourteen. Luke four eighteen, it says, "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind." To set at liberty those who are oppressed. Find anointing a very simple way. Je vais définir l'onction du moyen très simple. Very simple way. Du moyen très simple. What is anointing? C'est quoi l'onction? Before we start talking about what you need to know about anointing, I want to ask what is anointing. Avant que nous nous commençons à parler de ce qui est l'onction, on va définir. Anybody can tell me what anointing is? Et ce que vous me dites, c'est que c'est l'onction. Quand vous venez, vous dites, le mari est anointé. Qu'est-ce que vous parlez Quand vous venez, les gens disent, c'est ton mari. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Quelqu'un 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 Qu
Même les gens ont, ne veut pas parler de quoi Parce que la plupart d'entre vous sont bons. La question C'est quoi l'ancien C'est la même chose. C'est comme un transfert. C'est la bénédiction du super naturel dans le naturel. So the natural now becomes your body. Le naturel devient votre corps. And the super. Et le super becomes God himself. Devient Dieu lui-même. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? You have all answered well. Vous avez bien répondu. I don't think that there's any special answer I can give you. Et je ne sais pas si il y a une réponse spéciale qui doit être The spirit of the Lord is upon a man. L'esprit de Dieu est sur un homme. That person is anointed. Cet homme est bon. Are we together? So when you hear something like anointing, quand vous entendez un truc it is comme the coming of the supernatural. Ça veut dire la venue du supernaturel upon the natural. Sur le naturel. Empowering the natural. Qui qui la power natural. Qui équipe le naturel to do the works of the kingdom. Pour faire l'œuvre du royaume. It's not that you are coming from a good family. No, 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 that's different. Ce n'est pas, ça ne veut pas dire que je viens d'une bonne famille, c'est différent. You can walk with the man of God, you will not be anointed. Vous pouvez travailler avec un homme de Dieu, mais vous n'êtes pas où. You can go to school and come back as work as an employee to an anointed man who didn't go to school. Et c'est comme écoute. Within this preaching, I advise you to go for the anointing. Dans la dans cette prédication, je vous conseille d'aller pour l'onction. The anointing is the coming of a personality of an individual. L'onction c'est la venue d'une personnalité sur un individu. That's the first thing you need to learn. C'est la première chose que vous devez savoir. The coming of a personality. La venue d'une personnalité. In this case, dans ce cas, is the personality of the Holy Spirit. C'est la personnalité du Saint Esprit. Upon an individual. Sur un individu. Empowering him for service. Qui l'équipe pour le cure et pour le service. Now, et maintenant, when you hear, quand vous entendez, the spirit of the Lord is upon you. L'esprit de Dieu sur moi. I just, you just read the same scripture. Il a lu les mêmes versets. From the prophetic, then to a full vision of the prophecy. À l'accomplissement des les Isaiah prophesied. Isaiah prophesied. Jesus came and fulfilled it. Et Jésus est venu l'accomplir. The Bible says, la Bible dit, the Spirit of the Lord, l'Esprit de Dieu, is upon me. Est sur moi. Who was speaking? Qui parlait? Who was speaking? Qui parlait? Was it Jesus speaking or Christ speaking? Est-ce que c'est, est-ce que c'était Jésus qui parlait? Jesus, Jesus. It was Jesus. C'était Jésus. Christ. Christ. C'était Christ. You know, somebody was offended. Quelqu'un était offensé. That I'm trying to separate Christ and Jesus. Que j'ai essayé de séparer Christ et Jésus. Very angry. Il était très fâché. Very offended. Très très fâché. As I'm asking you a question. Je vous pose une question. Who was speaking? Qui parlait? When the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord was upon me. Quand la Bible dit l'Esprit de Dieu était sur moi. Who was speaking? Qui parlait? Who was speaking? Qui parlait? Who was he saying is upon him? Qui disait qui qui disait qui qui est sur lui? The spirit of the Lord. L'esprit de Dieu. Who is Christ? C'est qui Christ? Who is Christ? C'est qui Christ? The spirit of the Lord. L'esprit de Dieu. Is upon me. Est sur moi. I am the one talking. Je suis celui qui parle. In synagogue. Dans la synagogue. It is Jesus that came from synagogue. C'est Jésus qui vient de la synagogue. And stood by. Et puis c'est tenu. And then they gave him the opportunity to 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 read. On lui donne le permission de lire. And then he he was fulfilling the prophecy. He said, "The spirit of the Lord is upon me." Et là dit l'esprit de Dieu est sur moi. Who was talking? Qui parlait? Jesus. And who was upon him? Et qui était sur lui? Who was Christ? Qui était Christ? The spirit of the of the Lord. Et c'était l'esprit de Dieu. 
And who is Christ again? Et qui est Christ encore? The anointed one. Celui qui est roi. The anointed. L'ancien. If you get me, you just flow in the anointing. Si vous m'écoutez, vous allez seulement marcher dans l'ancien.